If you've got a WordPress blog or website, there's a good chance you'll want to have a photo gallery like the one I created here. And one of the most popular photo gallery plugins available for WordPress is the NextGen Gallery. So I'm going to walk you through the quick and easy installation process to install this plugin on your WordPress site and the basics of creating a gallery, uploading some photos to the gallery, and publishing a gallery in a post or a page. So the first thing you want to do is go to the admin area of your WordPress blog and under the plugins section, click on add new. And it's going to take us to a little search box there and we type in next, next gen gallery. And over on the right, it's the top item there and over on the right side we see install, click on install. And that's going to open up a modal window for us and we'll click on this button up here, install now. And basically that's going to start installing it and it's installed on the server now. The next thing I have to do is to activate the plugin. So I click on the activate plugin link. And there it is. That's the, that's the super easy installation of the next gen gallery. And you'll see now that it's installed, there's this gallery menu over here on the left hand side. Okay, so now that we've installed and activated the gallery, let's check it out and see how we can actually use it. So we expand on this gallery. Uh, menu item here, and we can see there's a whole list of uh, list of different menu items we can do for the gallery. Um, there's a lot of options and configuration things we can change and tweak, but uh, I'm not going to focus on that right now. Instead, the first thing I want to do is add a gallery. So I click on the Add Gallery slash Images link, and that opens up a new page where I can add a new gallery. And the first thing I want to do is to give the gallery a name. So I'm going to upload some sunset photos, and so I'm going to call this Sunset Gallery. Just give it a name that's meaningful to you, and click on the Add Gallery link. And it's created the gallery, and the next thing it gives me an option to do is to upload some images to that gallery. So there's several different ways to do this, but the easiest perhaps for a small number of photos is to click on the Upload Images link. And this basically just lets us uh, browse on our computer to select some photos. So I'm going to select five or six of them here. And then I have to choose which gallery I want these photos to be associated with. And so I'm going to select this sunset gallery that I just created. Click that. And then I click on this upload images. And now it's going to start uploading all these images. And we'll wait for that to happen, and uh, I won't make you sit through all this. And we're done. It's, t it's told us we have six pictures successfully added. So we can see this by going over to our Manage Gallery link, clicking on that, and you'll see our gallery overview. And here's the only gallery we've created so far called Sunset Gallery. I click on that link, and here it shows me a bunch of information about the gallery. There's title and descriptions, and I can add a lot of different information about that, some metadata, um, as well as the individual photos themselves. I see some thumbnail uh, images of them. I can view them. I can edit them. Uh, I can add some information about it. But for now, I'm just going to keep that as it is. So now we've created the gallery. We've uploaded some images to the gallery, but those photos in the gallery still aren't uh, visible anywhere within our blog. So the next step we want to do is actually uh, add this gallery to a page or a post and doing it in either one is the same process for either just uh, let's go to the post and we'll click add new and that'll take us to our post page and I'm just going to say next gen gallery photos and I, here is my gallery okay so to get this into your gallery into a post or a page, what you do is you see this little link, over, this little icon and link over here. Um, click on that, and it's going to open up a little modal window for us, and we can select which gallery we want to add. And I'm going to click Sunset Gallery. Uh, there's some different options here. The easiest maybe is just the image list. Uh, so I'm just going to keep that as it is, and I'm going to insert that. And you'll see that puts that little bit of code there, but that's all that we really need. Um, so now I'm going to click Publish. And I'm going to wait while that actually publishes. All right, that should be there. I'm going to go over here and check this now. I'm going to refresh. And there it is. There's my next gen gallery photos. Here is uh, here's the gallery. And I click on the first one, and I click through. 
pretty slick. So there you have it. And uh, that's the basic easy steps of installing the Next Gen Gallery and creating a gallery, uploading some images, and publishing them. And uh, it's pretty simple. Check it out.